got a lot going on, Maria Moore. What you got? Man, after an effort of more than 120 years, Ricky, and far too many failed attempts, lynching is now finally a hate crime, a federal hate crime in the United States. Yesterday, President Biden signed the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Law uh, Act into law. Senators Cory Booker, Tim Scott, and House Representative Bobby Rush introduced the bill, named after Emmett Till, a 14-year-old black boy who was brutally kidnapped and lynched by two white men in Mississippi in 1955. Joining us this morning is the last living I witness to Emmett Till's abduction. It is his cousin, Reverend Wheeler Parker, who is also the founder of the Emmett Till Memorial Center. Oh, wow. Good morning, uh, Reverend Parker. How you feeling after this landmark bill was signed on yesterday? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it, it, first of all, it's a pleasure to meet you, and uh, thank you so much uh, for coming on this morning. Why do you think it has taken this long to get an anti-lynching bill passed? Well, I've been in America for 83 years, and one thing I've learned, the wheels of justice grind, but they grind very slow. So never get in a hurry. Yes, sir. And uh, it's it taking people this long to realize and come to their senses. Mm. Right. Yeah, and it, it, it has been so long, and it, there's a lot of memories there. You actually went with yeah. your cousin Emmett to the grocery store the day of the incident, and you were there the night your cousin was abducted. What replays the most in your mind over the years? How a lot of things. One thing for sure is what's in my mind is right shortly after Look Magazine put out an article. And the way they, the light that they put him in and demonized him to justify what they have done. I have lived with that. He was nothing like uh, the press printed. And the, even now, it's, sometimes it's people t- seem to protect the system, saying he got what he deserved, you know. And how, how can you take the law into your own hand? They don't deal with that part of it. So that's one thing. And another thing is how could people in the Bible build, Christian people, Take and do something like that to a person. When you look at his face and you read the forensics, it's just unbelievable. I sometimes to me it was a nightmare, and then again, I know it was real. Wow. What has been the main mission of the Emmett Till Memorial Center? And now that the anti lynching bill has finally passed, what's next? Well, the mission of, uh, and you had to know Emmett Till's mother. This lady is, she was uh, beyond words. When you read about her, she didn't uh, move with ill will, hate. In 2003, I believe it was, she said, God took hate out of her life four to seven years ago. And we were people of, of faith, and she left a foundation. She left a legacy. She took a lemon and made lemonade and started becoming a servant. So that's what we've done down through the years we have become servants uh, from the dog. Well Re- Reverend Parker so most of us only know the image of uh, Emmett Till from that ca- the casket picture from his funeral but what was he kind of like as a boy growing up? Never ha- never had a dull day in his life fun loving prankster just a typical red blooded American boy enjoying life. He was privileged and uh, he was uh, fun fun to be around put it that way now we know this has been a long journey for you my brother and waiting to get this anti-lynching bill passed is there anything that you would like to share that you want people to know I I think that uh, we need to know that uh, you can't give up we have a lot of people when you give up you become frustrated and take low into your own hand and you think do things that are crazy and all you're going to do is hurt yourself you satisfy yourself but you hurt the cause. It's whatever you've done, it's going to be slow, and there's going to be always someone there that has a fire in their belly to do what's right. Yeah. We need to commend. We need to commend those people that stepped up and did what was right. Look how many years people in that position would not do what was right. Yeah, well, I I just want to personally thank you for um for, for everything that you have done uh in this fight. And uh, thank y'all, uh, people like you and, and Metka Evers and and uh, different of our civil rights icons that have opened the doors and have uh, uh, provided opportunities for us. I really, really appreciate you. And I'm sorry for everything, even though it's been 
uh, years and years. I'm sorry that you had to experience that because um, I'm sure that was tough and that was a, a bad time in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, please help help uh, help me thank the Reverend Wheeler Parker, Emmett Till's cousin, uh, founder of the Emmett Till Memorial Center. Uh, please be sure to visit the Till Institute. Dot org. That's the TillInstitute.org for more information on the life and legacy of Emmett Till. Reverend Parker, we appreciate your time today and your lifelong yes. dedication yes. to the movement, uh, y'all. Thank you so much.